So uh, I'll just quickly go through this uh, popular dilemma on uh, that a lot of agencies have. So uh, with a lot of digital solutions going cloud, many agencies hold back because um, it's commonly believed that cloud is less secure than on-premise. But uh, is it really the case? Right. So uh, let me see. Okay. So um, just to quickly go through this slide. So studies have shown that although, um, although the upfront cost for uh, on-premise is lower, but there's a lot of other costs involved uh, on an ongoing basis, as you can see from the iceberg here. And uh, it has been shown that um, cloud services actually cost 77% less than on-premise, right? Then I will also show this uh, iceberg comp comparison. So looking at the uh, on-premise, you can see that 9% um, of the cost is on the upfront cost, but the rest of the cost actually goes into uh, the other services, mainly hardware, IT personnel, and, and maintenance on an ongoing basis. Cloud computing on the other, wise, uh, on, on the other uh, hand is... 60% uh, is on the subscription. Uh, it may be higher on onset, but the rest of the cost, uh, it will just be subscription on an ongoing basis. So, um, but then which is the right one for your agency? So eventually the decision is yours, depending on your requirements and your comfort zone. So some key considerations that you might want to make uh, is whether uh, ease of access. Like, do you need your staff to access the software remotely? Like using on-premise means you need your staff to go back to the office. So think about uh, during circuit breaker, how do your agency manage? Yeah, do you hold back some of the work because your staff was not able to access the data remotely? Right. Infrastructure, do you have the space and the right conditions and budget for costs like electricity for your servers? Do you have the capability to ensure your hardware uh, is constantly refreshed and upgraded so that uh, the, it is protected? So... And not to forget, if you move your office in future, you'll need to move the servers as well. Uh, in terms of IT manpower, if you're using on-premise, you definitely need a strong team to help you maintain your system and support your agency when the system is down. So during major IT issues, the recovery time can be substantial. Like, so can you afford the delayed efficiency with the downtime? Server safety, on the other hand, uh, you need to constantly make sure that your server is safe, your data is backed up, because there's a lot of risks involved, such as fire, crisis, disaster, that can threaten your on threaten your on premise servers. Cybersecurity is a key concern on whether or not to go into cloud. So uh, a lot of agencies are not sure whether cloud uh, cloud solutions are safe. So in terms of cy cybersecurity, the key thing you have to look at is where the data is hosted. So if it's on reputable cloud like AWS, Microsoft, Google, etc., it it um, is generally quite safe, right? So um, because reputable cloud vendors have strict standards in place to keep the data safe. So check where the, where the, cloud, uh, the data is hosted in. If it's in a strange country like maybe Nigeria, for example, of course you wouldn't want to take the risk, right? So um, also if it's a less known cloud, you may actually uh, seek the help of a third party uh, security audit so we are actually working with Cybersecurity Agency of Singapore, CSA, um, to look at some of the vendors to, uh, with a checklist to see whether they are actually cybersecurity safe. Right, so, so that is something that we can work with you uh, if you have a certain solution and you're not sure whether uh, it is safe in terms of security. And of course, uh, with using cloud, the, the, the critical uh, thing you need is internet. So, um, but with the advancement of internet and increased network bandwidth, can you then take advantage of cloud solutions? And ultimately, it is the cost, how cost effective it is for you. If you are a small and mid-sized agency looking for lower upfront cost, uh, system stability and ease of access, cloud solution may be best suited for you because eventually it's more cost effective with, uh, with the reduction in capital expenditure, increased productivity and efficiency. But of course, if you are a big agency with a lot of budget and you, you have the desire to customize your system, and have, uh, you have the infrastructure to host, to maintain and protect your data, then uh, you may consider on-premise. But having said that, uh, cloud solution is something that more and more solutions are being on and more agencies are going into. The key consideration is whether uh, the cloud vendor is a safe one. Okay, so uh, I'll, uh, we will have these two slides for uh, a more comparison of cloud and on-premise for you to read on your own. So uh, if you have any questions, you can just come back to us. Because, yeah. Okay. And I've also included here some resources on cybersecurity from CSA. So you can read at your own free time to, to look at some of the plans that CSA have for the SMEs next year. And of course, 
we are going to talk to them to see whether we can extend the support to our social service agency. Yeah, so cyber security is not just about uh, the, protection, the protection itself. It's also equipping your staff with uh, cyber hygiene. Uh, how do you um, protect your systems at the user end? Yeah, so all these are key considerations uh, as part of cyber security. Okay, and under Tech and Go funding, we have these components that we can cover for you in terms of IT solutions uh, and consultancy. Okay, so the key thing is what's next for you. Yeah, for those who are ready to apply for um, your funding to cover your digital solutions, so look out for our next application window from 4 January onwards, and you will close on 29 January. So which means now will be a good time for you to get in touch with the vendors to find out the solutions and get a quotation from them. And also we are working with CSA and IMDA to bring more support on cybersecurity and data protection. And of course, we are going to bring in more um, digital solutions next year. So look out for our uh, more Tech Up Fridays, which will continue next year.